distress so much hue and cry over a crisis state, especially in the recent time. And the politics of a crisis state has been at the front burner in the Nigerian nation. And of course, that this is not because you are the governor, it is simply because we have people who are so determined to say that you will be governor come June 20th. Do you think that they're just daydreaming or you think that the equity people will not allow this to happen? Uh, first of all, Wega, um, thank you very much for having me on your show. Uh, it's my first time on the GA Factor and I'm very delighted to uh, be your guest. Um, you have asked uh, a very relevant question. Why do people feel that they can be governor in Ikiti State? Uh, first and foremost, you cannot uh, separate this from the fact that I have increased the credibility quotient of this office. I've made this job more attractive to people. I have conducted myself in a most responsible manner. And you must not forget where the state had come from before I became governor. Remember, this was the state of six governors in seven years between 2003 and 2010. It was the state of one week, one trouble before I became governor. And then all had been quiet on the equity front for three and a half years that I've been governor uh, because things had gone on pretty much uh, without force, without violence, without uh, any uh, uh, intensification of um, political uh, uh, fight. Unlike what it was before when we had a retinue of political assassinations when we had a whole range of challenges in the state and there was a huge level uh, of insecurity there was fear in the land now you have a governor that has been in office who came into office with a very clear court agenda to make poverty history in the state and had gone on in specific terms in what we call the roadmap to equity recovery, the eight point agenda, to affect the lives of our people fundamentally in all the segments of that agenda. Some of your opponents have alleged that you've wasted the resources of equity people. Is this true? They mentioned some figures, for instance, with red in some report by the uh, Labour Party uh, candidate uh, or aspirant, as it were, uh, that you wasted like 400 billion uh, naira equivalent to, 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 to the state. Is, is this true, sir? Because the people want to know whether you've actually wasted their money or not. You know, I'm an educated person, and the people are educated. I don't deal in rumors. Opinion is free. Anybody can tell you anything. But what are the facts? The verifiable facts that you can actually check out there is that in three years that I've been in office, a kitty has earned not even up to 150 billion naira. And I can give you the figures. You can go and click on the Federal Ministry of Finance website. It is published monthly. At best, we have done 40 billion as a state. Now that the income of the state coming from the federal has reduced, we're even doing much worse than that. If you add to that the IGR of the state, which of course has significantly improved because of the work of this government, and I have must take credit for it from the 100 million poultry sum that we were earning before I became governor to 500, 600 million every month. That gives you roughly 6 billion in a year. If you add all of this together, 
equity are still not earned 50 billion in a year on average for three years. Do your minds. But sir, I, I, are you by any means scared or jittery uh, with the coming of uh, well, the former governor of the state, for instance, uh, I identify your shape and uh, to the race? What would be the cost of the jitters? Former Governor Yodile Fayoshi has been governor here. He, at one point, ran foul of the law. He was removed as the governor by the law. And he is still facing charges relating to that. But people also forget, but it, it, people do not suffer from collective amnesia. People forget that my dear brother ran in a senatorial race against Baba Femi Ujidu in 2011. And the vote was 67,000 for Ujidu against 24,000, a 40,000 gap. He was a former governor then and he ran in the third of the state, not even in the there are three senatorial districts that make up the entire state. He ran in a third which of the state, his which is his own senatorial district, where he's supposed to be more popular than anybody. He lost. So, what, what would be the cost of the jitters? I believe this is going to be an interesting race because it would give him an opportunity to tell the people what he forgot in government house what he did when he was in office he's also running on a record just like i'm running on a record so there is room for comparison you talked about violence you talked about things that happen i do not want to personalize this race that's why i've said to you that for me it's about issues we're going to debate and provide the people with information on what we have done in office and what we intend doing in the future. So and I believe the people are smart enough to make a choice.